we always knew we, we wanted to do a musical of this. It was real, uh, Tommy Mottola was the one who really got the thing going. You no, know, I always say Bob De Niro made the movie happen, Tommy Mottola made the musical happen. I spoke to Alan Macon about writing a song for me, and then he very gently said to me, he goes, I want you to meet somebody, Glenn Slater. So I said, okay, I'll meet him. I said, all right, here's what we do. I'm going to write the lyrics for I Like It, and you write the lyrics for I Like It. I came in, and I saw Glenn's lyrics, and I saw my lyrics, and I said, okay. So I crumbled my lyrics up, and I threw, I threw them in the garbage, and I said, okay, welcome to the team. You're the lyricist. <laughs> Jazz said, when he was thinking about a composer for this, he said, Alan Menken writes fables. There's a real line, dramatically, between the work I've done on other things and a Bronx tale. Oh, God, I love it. That fable-like quality, I think, is why this story works in, in every single mode that it's been presented. It really is timeless. It really does have lessons, and the people who come see it come get swept up into its world and leave feeling exhilarated and feeling like they've seen something magical. sort of narrates the story for the audience, but the entire world is happening behind him and he kind of goes in between all of those pieces to, to inform the audience and then to also perform for the audience. It's kind of a combination of Chaz's original one-man show where he's narrating and then you get to bring in all these other characters that he would talk about in his show, um, singing and dancing and creating a world. Getting to work with such uh, talented people, it's just been amazing to see, to see especially these two kids, like the talent levels off the charts. 